let's continue our education on the topic of digestive tract. And we will talk today about small intestine. The purpose of the small intestine is break the food into final, final particles like amino acids, vitamins and minerals, and absorb. The small intestine is about 22 feet long. It also has, has villi, which will increase absorptive surface. It's enormous. Also, other organs such as liver and pancreas contribute to a health of digestive, to health of small intestine. So let's talk about let's talk about those organs. So you can see here that this is the small intestine, gallbladder, where the bile get collected drains into small intestine and also pancreas. From the previous lectures, you remember that stomach is located right up here. Small intestine is below. Between those is there is valve called pillarus. It's opens and closed on the concentration gradient. You have to create the right environment in the stomach and right environment in the small intestine in order to open this valve and then food will go from the stomach into small intestine. I already talked about my previous lectures about environment in the stomach. So environment in the small intestine is created by those organs. And if any of those does not work quite right, then we have a problem. So uh, pillarus is not open, food will stay in the stomach and it has no other place but to go up, means it will create acid reflex. For example, Brush border enzymes could be damaged by celiac disease, could be pancreatic insufficiency, person may have liver insufficiency, also dysbiosis and overgrowth of pathogenic bacteria could be due to antibiotic use or chemicals. Uh, in my future lectures, I will be talking about those organs, pancreas, liver, and will go into great details and clinical presentation. For now, guys, like, subscribe. Bye-bye.